Pennsylvania. I'm here today because I am debuting my book in, at the Baltimore Comic Con. It actually debuted in Philly, but this is the first time it's being presented in Baltimore. It's called Surian C. Rises Rudan. It is a science fiction martial arts epic that chronicles the life of Isaiah Kimmett and his rise from an obscure school teacher to savior of the cosmos. Well, I had this I had this in mind for a long time, and I went out and I talked to a gentleman by the name of Sean Olin of Pyrographic Studios. I had put some things on paper. I had I had another I had a gentleman by the name of Anthony Mace design the characters. Pyrographic Studios five years later updated the characters, uh, provided some creative insight, and I decided, you know what? I wanted to come out with characters that were different from the norm. The first, thing, the first thing that distinguishes my characters from other traditional characters you may find in, in, in the, uh, the more popular own comic books are, my characters are educated. This character here, the one behind me, they're graduates of HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities. In my book, he's a graduate of Morehouse. The gentleman behind me is a graduate of Morehouse. The genius in my book is a graduate of Morgan State. The assistant's a graduate of Spelman. I myself am a graduate of Morehouse College and Morgan State University. So I wanted these characters to kind of reflect my experience. It's based in Trenton, New Jersey, where I'm from, and thus far, the reception has been phenomenal. At the Baltimore Comic Con, I sold completely out. This is my second, I mean, at the Philadelphia Comic Con, I sold completely out. This is my second day at the Baltimore Comic Con. I'm 85% sold out. So it's been really, really good. It's alien based and earth based, so we the science fiction piece. This isn't somebody gets bit and they acquire powers. Now, this is, this we're actually was acquired through a mating ritual where a, a human mated with an alien and it was passed on genetically to the offspring. In my books, people who are born with superpowers are called variants. And so you have some traditional mythology that surrounds the characters. For those that are on Earth, that are born as variants, but for the primary characters, they have alien DNA within them. Thus explains the acquisition of their superpowers. Well, here's what has happened. People, people walk by and they love the presentation and they, the, when they see that the characters are wearing HBCU gear, they automatically gravitate towards it, those who are familiar with HBCU. Those who are looking for great art, they automatically gravitate over, over to it. And then those who just want to learn about independent characters, great, they gravitate to it. And thus far, the response has been truly phenomenal because my marketing plan is kind of unique. Here at the Comic-Con for $20, you get a signed delivered by 17 print, a signed copy of the book, four mini posters, a trading card, a magnet and a postcard, and I give away five raffle tickets for people who have the opportunity to win it to see the laptop. So long before I get to the laptop portion, they're sold on the book, and the laptop is just like the icing on the cake. So you, in order to get people to come over and take a chance on your product, you gotta offer them something that makes them feel as though they're getting the deal. Besides the great storytelling, besides the great artwork, if you package it correctly, people will take a chance on it. Hey man, I've been hustling for a long time. So I, it took me five years to develop this. So I try, I try to come up with a plan that's not necessarily unique, that it, but in the mind of the consumer, it's, it's a good deal. It's a profitable deal for them. And one of the things that distinguish me from a lot of the other guys that come out here and they do your traditional prints, I do fine art printing also. This print right here was done by Profile Studios of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The ink on this paper alone costs $1,100 a gallon. This is what you will find in any top of the line uh, art gallery throughout the world. It's acid free, it does not fade, and those people that want high end prints, they come to see this and they're loving it. When I walked into the art studio, I was the first person who said that I walked in his studio, and he'd been here for a few years, that came with a comic book character. He thought it was a unique approach on, uh, approach on marketing. I told him it came natural to me because I felt like if you're in it to make money, then you should produce the best quality product possible. So anything you see framed that I'm producing, it's a high-end quality print. It's not something you're gonna find in the Kinko's or your standard print shop, not what you're gonna find online, ordering, mass produced. Each one of these is sold individually and it's high-end. Go on Facebook, Surian C on Facebook, S-U-R-I-A-N-S-E-E-D. It tells you, you go in, and you'll find history of the characters, you can interact with me as the creator, you can make recommendations, and what separates Surian C from a lot of other books? In my book, this character is a multi-millionaire philanthropist. Whatever this character does in the book, I do in real life. So for example, if this character donates money to a scholarship in the book, that scholarship fund exists in real life. So here today at the Philadelphia Comic Con, 
What we're doing on behalf of this character in support of education, any child that stops by my desk today, they automatically get this book bag with $100 of the school supplies in it, and the book bag itself costs $50. So you're sitting on a $150 uh, possibility that you can win this in a raffle just for stopping by because that's what this character would do in the book. So I kind of pattern the behavior of things in real life and what this character would do.